Hey, what is it guys? Very Track here. And today we're gonna be talking about the hotel map from VHS. So if you're not familiar, hotel is a double layer map. The stations are pretty well spread out. If you were in the original, one of the OGs of the beta, you knew that the hotel got a bunch of changes from the window, I believe from the top floor to the bottom got nerfed. And then on top of that, we also had a bunch of stations swapped. So the original stations that most of you know right now, they were used to be in a different place. I wanted to talk about concern that I had which was if you are playing Dollmaster specifically, it is a lot easier to camp one side of the map. What I mean by that is with Dollmaster, since you're allowed to have multiple dolls on the map and you can distribute them and you know redistribute them over and over, what Dollmaster can do is you can basically camp one side of the map. Currently, right now, I have the layout of the map. As you can see, I also have the stigma stations where they usually spawn. You can see this is the top floor. This is the main floor, and then this is the basement. Take a look on the right side of the map. We have two stations on the main floor. We have two stations on the top floor, and then we also have two stations on the basement on the right side of the map. So these are all, if you want to imagine, they're all stacked up on top of each other. And the one thing that you can do as Dollmaster is you can basically just sit on one side of the map as the amount of stigmas that go down decreases and we're not have to move to the other side at all. I think this is concerning. If, for example, all you have to do is place, what, one, two, three, four, and then like, you know, five, six, so you're using offspring or or not even, you don't even have to have a six star. You can use your body and you just be mobile between the right side of the map. You pretty much control, I would say, what, 80% of the stigma station. And I think that's pretty concerning. What me and somebody in the competitive VHS Discord came up with, we discussed how if we were able to move the stigmas, so this way the crafting stations are more spread out, so that way the doll master can't camp as efficiently as they could, it would be a lot better. The strength of Dollmaster's quote unquote camping power is dependent on how close the stations are to each other. It's also dependent on how fast he can replace these dolls that he would eventually lose throughout the camp, right? So for example, like if a doll, let's say you have two dolls on the top floor defending the Purify and the, and the Burn Station, let's say one doll gets the SARM at the Purify and your body's over here. All you have to do is walk in a straight line, which takes about seven seconds to go to the other side of to the station and you just place it all down there and then boom, there you go. Now you can just go back and forth. It takes about seven seconds. It doesn't take that long from the main floor either from this, from the Purify here to the burn. And it definitely does not take long in the hotel at all. So my proposition or, or you know, something that I came up with this person called Jamiston, uh, sorry if I mispronounced your name, but we basically have decided that we want to take the cursed in the cigar room and put it in parlor. We want to take the fire in master study and put it in the cigar room. And then we also want to take the shock from parlor and move it to the master room. Basically that orientation would leave you with this. So the next biggest concern is, oh, wouldn't that just make it so that the shock is directly on top of the other shock in the basement. To be honest, I'm okay with this orientation. What we can do instead is if it seems to be such big of an issue, we can simply just move the shock from here uh, to this one right here, or we can move it to this position over here, just somewhere further away from the stairs, right? Because again, going back to the two factors in the power of the camp, it depends on the proximity of the stations and the time it takes for the doll master to re-protect the quote unquote stations. So what the doll master has to do is if he wants to protect a shock station, he not only has to patrol from the basement to the main floor to the top floor, and protect the shock from, from both sides. And so he has to traverse three floors on top of that. And I think with the moving the shock station a little bit further away from the from the basement stairs, it would be a lot harder to proxy camp or we protect the ones stacked on top of each other. This orientation makes it so that camping on one side of the map, staying on one side of the, the field is a little bit less effective. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I really wanna hear your thoughts. How this will affect other monsters like Wart and Werewolf, I mean, it really doesn't because the Wart and Werewolf can't really camp stations the way that Dollmaster does. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I think this is more balanced. It forces the Dollmaster to actually go across the map 
defend other stations if he wants to. And if he, he doesn't, he still wants to camp one side of the map. At least he has to a lot more time to traverse between stations and uh, uh, to camp them, right? Yeah, I mean, let me know what y'all think. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.